board here. And it has pictures of fungi on it. Ooh, what is this about? Training fungi to fight each other? That's a very unexpected mode of entertainment. But fungi are monsters! We can't let this go ahead. It's way too dangerous. Hmm. Let's go check out the tournament. If it's as dangerous as it sounds, at least we'll be there to stop things from getting too out of control. I suppose, yeah. Uh, the most fantastic tournament you've ever heard of. <laughs> it's all the way over there. Oh, there's a whole stage and stuff. Welcome, contestants, to the Nilud Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament. I am Kautilia, a senior Amorta researcher and the organizer of today's tournament. I'm sure you're probably all very intrigued by the idea of fighting fungi and excited at the prospect of our amazing prizes. But at the same time, you may well have some concerns about the safety of this tournament. We do have some uh, concerns Where indeed. Not, the wisdom orb we've developed exclusively wisdom for this orb. event makes use of Amorta's most advanced intellectual boost technology. It is absolutely reliable and safe. Uh, somehow so I doubt that, but okay. Aside and enter the tournament with confidence. Hmm. Also, it gives me great pleasure to announce that this event is sponsored by Mr. Elhingen, a renowned businessman from Fontaine who has generously from Fontaine, a grand you say? total of 60 million mora for our prize fund. 60 million? Holy crap. And if anyone is able to prove themselves capable of carrying That's like one out quarter Mr. more than I have by passing at the, the moment. trial, he will be willing to give them his entire fortune. The Holy crap. The condition is that the winner must agree to carry on Mr. Elhingen's legacy by hosting the Nilud Pala Cup Beast Tamers tournament in the future. Oh, of course. Oh, Paimon can't believe that rich guy threw 60 million more at this event. Just like that. And what was all that about inheriting his entire fortune if you promised to keep his beast taming tournament going? Also, huh. hosted by an academia scholar, huh? Oh, pretty official. I uh, might be a little inappropriate if we just barged in and tried to shut it down. Yeah, a little so, bit maybe. Um, why don't we enter the tournament and see if this wisdom orb thingy actually works? Paimon, you just want the prize money, don't you? <laughs> no, that's not it. It's just, uh, now that everything in Sumeru has finally settled down, don't you think it'd be a little to Nahida if we keep picking trouble with the academia? And hmm. he sounded really confident. Paimon's curious about how this mysterious fungi taming device works. And what if it works really well? What will you do to the fungi? Although they've caused this trouble in the past, the fungi aren't just aggressive monsters, right? They're more like wild animals with bad tempers. I suppose, yeah. no longer any safety concerns, we don't to worry. Maybe we can even try becoming friends with the fungi. Paimon thinks that would be fun. Besides, if we do well in the tournament, we'll be able to earn some extra more. There are basically no drawbacks. All right, let's see what all the fuss is about then. But we should stay cautious, just in case. Yep, that's the way we roll. Looks like we sign up over there. Come on, let's grab a wisdom orb and enter the tournament. A wisdom orb. Huh? Looks like There's the ahead of quite a line. Up. Let's wait our turn. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. So, you're competing too? Golden Comet? Huh? Wait. You know us? But what's with those names? We've never heard them before. Yeah, I don't remember them either. You're a tough duo if the posters are to be believed. Posters? The mercenaries who managed to escape from you painted your portraits, warning others to avoid messing with you at all costs. Oh. Uh, Paimon doesn't know whether to be flattered or to try and explain that we aren't as scary as the rumors suggest. <laughs> Unfortunately, the rules of this tournament state the beast tamers aren't allowed to use their weapons or even fight each other directly. Your impeccable combat skills won't be any use to you here. The tournament is about capturing fungi, training them, and commanding them in combat. 
There's no way of knowing whether commanding fungi is a skill you'll be able to master in time. That's true. We've never captured a fungus before and wouldn't know anything about how to get them to fight. Wait a second. You don't look like a staff member. What are you lecturing us for? Who are you anyway? <laughs> the name's Ania. I used to work for the animals, taming grumpy sumter beasts. Ended up with a reputation for being a beast tamer, so they got me involved with testing the wisdom orb early on. Ah, I anyway, see, I see. My name ain't worth remembering. I'm just an illiterate nobody. All I'm good for is doing odd jobs for Aramite mercs. Just think of me as another contestant. I do have a lot of experience taming beasts, though. Want me to teach you? You want to team up with us? You want to size us up? You guys are worth me getting to know. As allies, or opponents. Because either way, you can get rid of some obstacles for me in this competition. Of course, I'd prefer allies if possible. Well, that was blunt, but also quite honest. It's definitely better to have an expert teach us than figure everything out on our own, right? Uh, what do you think? Should we take her up on her offer? I mean, right then. we're gonna take this wisdom orb and let's go catch some fungi at the designated. I, I guess we're taking up on the offer then. She gets right to the point, doesn't she? But that's a pretty nice change of pace. Usually, people are really cryptic and stuff. You follow Hania uh, to the designated fungi catching zone. This is where you'll capture your fungi. The fungi in this area are highly compatible with the wisdom orb, and they're ideal for training and competing with. Okay, we got some bay blades. Fungi. It also and bouncing as a ones. I recommend giving each fungus a code name to make commanding them easier. For example, this one next to me is Pyro One, which means Pyrofungus Number One. You just go off their element and then number them? Hmm. Seems kind of boring to pine mine. Uh, this fungus looks pretty lively. Why don't we call it Bouncy Happy Shroom? Paimon is the best at coming up with names. I also have some suggestions if you're interested. Uh, thanks, but uh, no thanks. I've got my own way of naming them and I'm gonna stick with it. It's simple, straightforward. It helps me with managing them. Yeah, I like this gal. It Pyro One anyway. All right, we'll stop. But wait until you hear the great names we come up with for our fungi. You might want to reconsider then. She's so practical and stuff. Okay, so I guess I equip this. Like so. And just capture some fungi. Yoink. Okay. Eladril, Tingle Shroom, Stormlord. Oh, hell yeah, Stormlord. This fungi reminds me of some strong hillagers who can also wield the power of Electro, so I was gonna name it Stormlord. It sounds about right. Bongo Head. Well, just Bongo Head, I guess. <laughs> Paimon's a fungi naming expert. Every one of these will sound really cool when you call them out in the arena. The names you come up with for the second fungus, all three switches were the same. <laughs> the red hat on this little guy's head kind of looks like a drum, don't you think? The first thing that came to Paimon's mind when she saw it was, if you hit it on the head, it's definitely gonna go bing bong. Hmm. How does the name Bongo Head sound? Hmm, I think bing bong is optimistic. Probably more like scrolls. Boink. <laughs> Aw, Bongo Head's just like a little puppy. Paimon's never seen this side of a fungus before. From now on, we need to look out for each other, Bongo Head. Okay, let's go catch some more fungi. These fungi are, ac are actually Bongo quite head. cute up close. Some of their attacks are really annoying, though. Couple new fungi here. Boink. Yoink. Uh, stout waist, hard hat, crasher basher. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, what? Pickinding. Pickinding. Cool shroom. C cool it. <laughs> it's 
like what Kaya says with his elemental skill. Cool it. I'm gonna go with this. Great, you've now collected all four fungi. The next step is to use the floral jelly provided by the organizers to boost your floral fungi's abilities. Floral jelly. That way, they'll be able to unleash powerful skills during combat. Hyman can't believe we're making progress so quickly. It's all thanks to your help, Hania. Hmm. All right, let's all return to the arena now. Huh? Look, someone's staggering along with a fungus running circles oh. around her. Uh, is she being attacked? That's She's Layla, collapsed. right? Let's go see what's happening. Let's go. I guess she's also participating. Uh, I can't go on. Uh, she has the orb thing too. Are you hurt? How bad is it? Watch Everyone, out! Take it out! Wait, it's not an enemy. It's my shroom buddy. Ah. Just, just a little too tired to walk right now, but I still need to find three more shroom buddies to qualify for the tournament. Yeah, she's participating too. Shroom buddies? You mean you're contesting too? I wasn't counting on running into other contestants here. Maybe this is the end of the road for me. Twirly Whirly on its own is no match. Aw, Twirly Whirly. That's a cute name. Look after Twirly Whirly for me. Take him with you to the top. Aw. Hey, don't give up. It's not like we're a bunch of Aramites trying to steal your fungi. I, I, uh, your shroom buddies. We're better than that. You should at least hang in there until we're in the arena so we can compete against each other properly. Hania over here is a professional beast tamer, and despite knowing that we might be her fiercest competitors, she still gave us lots of help and advice. Yeah. Is that supposed to be a compliment. That take it as a compliment. Pipeman's really getting into this. <laughs> Naming mission: Golden Comet and Silver Companion shall gladly come to your aid. <laughs> of the four shroom buddies I need? Uh, does this mean my luck is finally starting to change? Um, uh, my name is Layla. I'm just a student in the Ritalwaya's Darshan, so I don't have any impressive titles or anything. She sounds um, like so delicate. To, uh, uh, to make it into the quarterfinals. And with the mix if of I tiredness. Get to the quarterfinals, I'll get to take my shroom buddies home and delegate some of my physical labor to them. Uh, uh, of course, I'll take good care of them, too. Oh, yeah! Paimon read that in the rules somewhere. All quarterfinalists get to take home any fungi of their choice. Oh, that's nice. What do you mean, physical labor? You're a student. Shouldn't you be busy with coursework and writing papers? Uh, this is pretty embarrassing, but, uh... Uh, so, I must have some sort of congenital sleep disorder or something, because I can never seem to get enough sleep. And I'm always really low Oh, no. Energy. Even the smallest amount of exercise makes me... <sighs> well, you saw me just now. I get so tired, I collapse from exhaustion. So when I said physical labor... I just meant basic stuff like moving books around or fetching things I need from the store. Ah, uh, you don't need to be embarrassed about that. It's totally normal. Paimon delegates choice to her all the time. It's a murderous face. Uh. She calls them buddies. Then she talks about wanting to live with them. Ridiculous. She sounds just like Elhingen. I wonder what the uh, honey is so annoyed about. Well, looks like you've mastered everything already and moved on to helping others. I'm delighted for you. I'll see you around. Good luck. Huh? Why is Hania leaving all of a sudden? We haven't thanked you or Pyro won yet, Hania! Let's at least go get something to eat together! What's wrong? That beast tamer... Is she... angry? No idea. She Honestly, just stormed not. off like She's that. Blunt and doesn't make a 
great first impression, but she's definitely not a bad person. Otherwise, why would she have helped us? Maybe she has something urgent to do. We'll see her again at the tournament. Yeah, yeah. we'll see her again. And when we do, let's give her some gifts to show her our gratitude. In the meantime, yeah, that sounds nice. let's follow her example by doing our best in the tournament, helping other contestants, and making sure Layla gets to compete. Uh, thank you so much. I'll try my best to contribute too. I don't want to be a burden to you guys. Ah. You help Layla find three more shroom buddies to complete her set. Nicely done. Now that we put together Layla's team, she should be eligible to take part. Let's head back to the arena and confirm with them. Yeah, sounds good. Helping others is always nice. Okay, let's sign up. That's nice. Actually, I hope I don't have to fight you guys in the later stages either. Oh, oh why? <laughs> hello there, little ones. Uh, uh, <laughs> hello there. The center of the action mommy, I mean, mommy, I mean. You two truly are like the main characters in your own light novel. Yes. Miko, what are you doing here? Is Paimon hallucinating? <laughs> This tournament was advertised far and wide, including all the way over in Inazuma. They even handed out flyers in front of Yai Publishing House. Damn, she's a long way from home for sure. A tournament like this makes a perfect candidate for light novel treatment. It does seem like a good place to find source material. There are lots of stories you could tell about Yai this. Yai Publishing House is working on a bestseller that, if all goes to plan, will stay a bestseller for the next 50 years. 50 years? Yes. Damn. Friendship and rivalry. So we decided to bring our up-and-coming author, Soka, here to gather some inspiration. I, of uh, course, that's nice. To ensure like a field trip. Manuscripts are up to par. So... I will be taking part in the tournament myself to get a little taste of what it's like. Oh! Here's my little partner in crime. Soka named it Blitzara. I think it's rather good. Very distinctive. Who knew there'd be such a big turnout? Even Miko's here! Soka, come say hi to the little ones. They're set to be some of the fiercest competition you face in the tournament. You should put them in your novel She seems pretty shy. Characters. Yes, Chief Editor! For the sake of my readership, I won't back down! I'll beat... beat you! I'll see you in the yeah, arena! Just cause you're with Miku doesn't mean we'll go easy on you! Yeah! Oh, yes, more of that! Do you feel that, Soka? Declaring a challenge to your archenemy in the making before the competition begins is a key plot device that helps build dramatic tension. Yes. I, I wouldn't say I'm feeling that exactly. Just just thinking about competing against Her Excellency's Hanamizaka tour confidant is making me so nervous. I'm losing my my mind. Oh gosh, she's a okay, freaking so nerve wreck. And capture your nervous breakdown in writing while it's still fresh. This will make excellent source material too. She's terrifying. <laughs> she also seems really dedicated to her craft. I hope we can be friends. Aww. And who is this softly spoken little lady? She's our new friend, Layla. We met her while we were out capturing fungi. Layla's entering the tournament because she wants to take her trained fungi back home to live with her. Her goal is to make it to the quarterfinals. Training fungi and then domesticating them? How fascinating. You must be full of secrets. There's an intriguing story to be told here, no doubt. Definitely. Yai Niko, a light novel editor. Purely out of personal interest, and right now what I'm most interested in is you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, I have no idea how to respond to that. Ah. Paimon... I really appreciate all your help, but I want to get to know my four shroom buddies a little better and prepare for the qualifiers, so I'll go do some training now. Don't put yourself there she goes. Up, Layla. You'll end up collapsing from exhaustion again. Miko, what are you doing scaring a new friend off like that? 
I don't think she scared her off. What oh, the heck? Am I really so terrifying? Well then, I'll simply have to talk to her again another time to clear things up. But yeah. I can wait. Judging from your expression, it seems like you have something you want to say to me, little one. Uh, what are you really doing in Zumeru? What's going on behind the scenes of this tournament? I'm comforted to know that you didn't lose your heads amidst the hype. And you're not just in this to have some fun. Unfortunately, though, it appears that we're about to be interrupted. Oh, who's uh, entering the scene now? Oh, okay. finally meet you! We're so privileged that our tournament is your first destination in Sumeru. Huh? Isn't that the organizer? And that super rich businessman is here too! Oh, is Yae after the money? Goodness, I presume that the tournament is proceeding very smoothly indeed? Otherwise, how would the host and sponsor themselves have the time to spare to chat with contestants one-on-one? -on -one? How you jest, Guji Yae! Those such as your esteemed self deserve nothing short of the most lavish reception Sumeru has to offer. I'm just here jamming to the music. I see you've already had the chance to try out the Wisdom Orb. What are your thoughts on the future prospects of this technology? You know with your blessing it can be introduced into Inazuma, allowing you to swiftly resolve the situation of them. Um... Of what? <clears throat> right now I am Situation of what? Editor in chief. I'm here to enjoy my vacation and gather some inspiration along the way. And if I can at all help it, I'd rather not concern myself with such weighty topics as the future fate of nascent technologies. Don't be so pushy, Mr. Cautelia. Droning on about the Academia's business ambitions is hardly respectful to our honored guest, who has traveled all the way from the Land of Thunder to be here. Yeah. Not to mention that Gucci Yae is busy catching up with her friends. I dare say it was both unnecessary and discourteous to interrupt their conversation like this. A most pertinent remonstration coming from you, Mr. Elhingen. You do conduct yourself in such an unobtrusive manner, much as you have in your entire career, quietly amassing an enormous fortune while remaining almost entirely unknown. Why, to hear such high praise from the great Guji Yae is more prestige than I could ever hope for. <laughs> yeah, Mika really knows how to. Should you require anything at all, uh, do not how to speak to in a very. I will like, uh, do everything within my ability to make your stay in Sumeru an enjoyable one. Also, uh, not manipulative, now, but uh, sly manner. He's an unexpected delight. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in action. Um, thank you. Miko, they're here to do business with you, right? Should you really be turning them away like this? Especially the rich guy? Paimon thinks working with him could have a lot of advantages for Yai Publishing House. Promoting an entirely new event throughout all of Tevat so rapidly would be an impossible feat for any ordinary businessman. I, for one, do not wish for Yai Publishing House to be the subordinate partner in a business relationship with him. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Besides, the tournament has only just begun. Who knows whether it will go on to be a success. I want to focus on trying to enjoy myself, while keeping one eye open for potential liabilities. Potential liabilities, so you've noticed. Fungi may look adorable, but they carry potent elemental energy inside their bodies. Letting one's guard down around these creatures would be an unwise move, don't you think? Yeah. So it wasn't just us. Yeah, we started out with some safety concerns about this event, but the Wisdom Orb seems pretty amazing. At least all the fungi we used it on have been very well behaved, like our bongo head here. Seems we don't need to be too nervous after all. Oh, Paimon, you're just as carefree and enthusiastic as ever. <laughs> well, it's about time for me to get into character. As a contestant, I need to go and get ready for the tournament. See you in the qualifiers. Blitzara, say goodbye to our friends. Okay, bye. Looking forward to fighting against uh, your fungi. Making new friends, bumping into Miko. Oh, this competition is shaping up to be a whole lot of fun! It sure is! Come on! Let's go get some floral jelly for Bongo Head's training, like Hania suggested! Okay. 
Some jelly. You got ah, some jelly? Champions to be here at long last. Come on now, use the floral jelly and awaken your fungi's true potential. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. So you've heard about us too? Of course. I was standing right next to you when you collected your wisdom orb. I couldn't find a convenient opportunity to introduce myself, as Hania was busy explaining the tournament to you. With an ah, okay, okay. Like Hania, I'm sure you'll become excellent beast tamers in no time. If even the staff are singing her praises, Hania must really know what she's doing. Well, all the more reason to give it our all. Okay, so this is a matching thing. Let's train our fungi. Cultivate. We want that kind of thing. Oh, uh, that took a while. Bindlehead and buddies should be able to fight at full power now. We still have some time before the qualifiers start. Maybe we should spend some more time training our fun guy. Let's go and train them. Uh, I have to try to try this thing out. Okay, so you just basically use these skills as you get them and uh, that's about it and you can designate a target with the E okay this is pretty fun hey there we go Lord Pala Cup debut nice Okay, it's time for our match. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nilut Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition and wish you all the very best of luck. At the same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. By all means, give everything you've got, but respect your opponents at the same time. Don't lose your head. This is just a sport, not a fight to the death. Yeah. <laughs> I have spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures to coexist. The wisdom orbs you now hold in your hands show me that it is indeed possible. I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. People need a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. And beast taming can help us achieve this. Oh, so that's hmm. why Ohingen is putting his whole fortune into this. What an inspiring goal. But Kaltilia, on the other hand... Uh... Thank you for your speech, Mr. Elhingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if I may. Welcome, Beast Tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological innovation at the Academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, of course. Well, I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orbs and have fun in the competition. What a total nerd! <laughs> you know there's a time and place to talk tech? Oh, good thing Elhingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. Otherwise, this could have dragged on for a long time. Yeah. Oh, the fires have officially started. It's time to face our first opponent. Okay, who is... Uh, uh, who are we facing against first? Also, Heisa, I know. 
Uh, Sino, has this tournament come to his attention too? Okay. We're fighting against uh, this fella. Okay. Let's go. Huh. Didn't know they put the bar for entry so low. <laughs> Let's go. This is going to be over so fast. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Uh -huh, sure. Bonglehead. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. Yeah. Haha, -ha, easy as pie. And everyone else too. But how? How can my swift fighting style fail? Everyone, retreat now. Easy peasy. This fungi fighting is unlike anything else we've ever done before, and it's super fun. That beast tamer and her fungi work together pretty well. Almost as well as the two of us. Are you saying you want to have a try at fighting? <laughs> Your signature move will be silver supernova slap. Uh, that's not what Paimon said. <laughs> I just wanted to say that our opponent seems to have developed her own fighting style unique to her and her fungus. Oh, yeah. It would be great if we were more tightly in sync with Bongo Head. Imagine if we could just look at him and he'd know exactly what to do. That would be amazing. That's why it's so important to develop close connections with your teammates. Yeah. Rico and Layla, how's it going for you so far? Twirly Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knock the opposition out. When I That's nice. The arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they'd just seen a <laughs> Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so I came with her. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. Ah. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway, what was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game. All right, guess it's Shroom Buddy's special training o'clock. Let's get to it! You and Layla accompany Amiko to the training location. Okay. The view here is wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Yay! Snack time! Snack time! <laughs> Paimon is uh, easily amused. Though? Did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. Perhaps you thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Mm, yeah. Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. Imagine True. if all the traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock hard muscles just to watch you send money. Oh my god, fly. the smirk. <laughs> would you gladly comply. Buffmon. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No, five days! Nah, you wouldn't last that long. See? 
You and she have a very strong bond, but that doesn't mean you'd be happy for her to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Huh. Well, when you put it like that... Yeah. Lucia is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the wisdom orb is turned off or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not. You want to turn off the wish them orb? Yeah. It takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. It makes me feel like I'm giving orders. Aww. Ah, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. But that would mean giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? I'm curious about what will happen Go too. Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't worry, the little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm, I'm gonna do it. Look at that! Now that it's turned off, Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before! Hmm. Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. That's if possible, yeah. If this is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the Wisdom Orb. Miku's right! Forget fancy schmancy technology! The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship! <laughs> I'll do my best! I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's likes and dislikes. Aww. And lots of snacks from the almighty merchant. Kaima wants to get to know the real Bongo Head too. Let's try deactivating our wisdom orb, shall we? What makes the wisdom orb so effective? Is uh, Cautilia's uh, in possession Cautilia in possession of some great technology unknown to the to other scholars. Travel, hmm. Paimon, Miss Yai, do you and your shrimp buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzaro when you're knee deep in the water, or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> Bongo Head is a floating hydrofungus. Bongo Head is always playing in the water. Right. Paimon almost forgot. Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Hope you have a good time. Layla and Yamiko go off to play with their fungi. Bongo Head, we can do whatever you want to do. Just let us know. Paimon will probably understand you. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Why isn't it responding? Oh, guess Paimon will have to try using delicious treats to win its affection. Help! Help me! Oh no, Something's what's... Right. Why are these fungi so aggressive? What's happening? It sounds like someone's calling for help. Hurry, let's go check it out. Oh no, what, what about Bongo Head? It just ran off. What's wrong over here? What are you doing here? Oh, no need to be so passive aggressive. Yeah, you saved the children? I happened to be nearby. The children were mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. That's oh, that's so a relief. Dangerous. Why are they trying to approach wild fungi without a wisdom orb? I guess the kids don't know about it's it. It's hardly their fault. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once, too. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured. So I kept my distance. 
People never used to be under any illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelit polycup is changing people's perceptions, and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. The tournaments become uh, uh, too popular for its own good uh, in trying to solve one problem, it's created another. I'm putting another. an end to this debacle. First chance I get. The Wisdom Orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. Exterminating? The oh no. They'll be mine to do with as I please. What are you talking about, Hania? Exterminating fungi? Not in front of Pyro 1? Don't you care about its feelings? You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks. You're clearly enjoying the event. I'm quite certain Pyro 1 would back me up if it was capable of realizing the past mistakes of its kind. But regrettably, it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. Ah. Don't go! We turned off our Wisdom Orb just now, and we were playing with the fungi and everything! Looks like uh, she's made up her mind. Oh my, such a standout personality. And with the perfect dose of obstinacy. I sense dramatic events just waiting to unfold. <laughs> the cries for help too, huh? We were just talking about her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament. But after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character. Blames the many for the mistakes of a few and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. Ha. She takes the wrong path because in her eyes it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. Uh, seems she's had some bad experiences with fungi. She definitely has her reasons. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment, but some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature, just like any other wild animals. The fungi have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off suddenly. Right! We shouldn't resort to extreme measures. No matter what Hania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to. Yeah. Do you intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you. But I hear she's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? We will keep bonding with our fungi. That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Wait, did you know all this was going to happen? <laughs> it would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania came as quite a pleasant surprise. Today's training ends here. The qualifier should be over now. We should go and find out what to expect in the later stages. Hmm. There are a lot of people over there. Are they looking for something? I heard that the organizer set up loads of message boards for the audience to leave comments and interact with each other. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. Hmm, yeah. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trilly Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow. No. <laughs> that's a great idea. You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. But this time, you're the one providing yourself with the information. You can write whatever you want. That's a nice idea, Paimon. But I'm from the Ritawahis, Darshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amorta, Darshan. Different disciplines, uh, worlds apart, but maybe one world's trash is another world's treasure. Yeah, you can provide the information to Amorta students. Maybe sell it to the highest bidder. Wait, no, royalties. Charge royalties. <laughs> royalties is the best way to go, yeah. Mora is a secondary consideration. But I could make it a fair 
trade by getting the Amorta students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trolley Whirly's kind likes. Hmm. If I can narrow the search, it'll make my life a whole lot easier. I won't have to buy hundreds of different things and get Trolley Whirly to try them all. Just thinking about it makes me want to pass out. Aww. <laughs> Layla, that's an amazing idea! Please get them to look into what Bongo Head likes too! Uh, I'll do my best. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Immorta. Sign of subordinate? Does that mean he's observing the arena? Little one. The pairings for the remaining 32 are out. Remaining 32? There must be something fishy going on with uh, Sino and his subordinates here. Huh? We'll be facing Soka next! Oh! Oh, I've been looking forward to this a lot. What are you so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishy House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please. Do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. Aha! All, a life with no it's all for the, the, mind. For the inspiration for the light novel. Right Sometimes obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing. Uh, yes, ma'am. Excellent. Ah, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. Serious face on. Act two complete. Dual missions. Progress and probe. Okay. Act three. Let's go. Actually, maybe I should catch some more fungi. Sparks and spores. Uh, Bloom soon. Yes. Uh, Retribution room. <laughs> Oh yeah, of, of course we're going with Shroom Terror. Bounce Strider. Uh, Ring Thunder. Sounds good. Oh, they have like a whole... Uh, tree thing here. Nice. Okay, let's train our fungi. Okay, now we have some uh, new mushrooms, new fungi to uh, fight with. Time to kick some butt. Traveler, Pine sorry, Soka, you're gonna get wrecked. Come earlier than I had expected. My apologies, but my writing career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes. I can't allow you to beat me. Bring it on. Don't get too cocky, Soka. We won't go easy on you. We're pretty much too OP because we are the only ones who are able to heal at all. I just realized. Haha! -ha. I can't believe it. I lost. That's it. Oh no! Don't worry. It's it not too. The guests of Ten Shukaku have not too bad. Beyond the reach of mere mortals like me. Oh no! Did we go too far? Soka's taking this pretty hard. Mika said it was fine not to look back, but she'll definitely be mad at us when she sees her in this state. Ooh, Paimon's freaking out. Okay, we should just go apologize to Miko. Come on, Bongo Head, put on your best guilty face. <laughs> best guilty face, you say? Miko, we're sorry. It was all Bongo Head. We didn't know it would take Soka out so quickly. 
quickly? Five on. I'm the best beast tamer here. Uh, I should be the one who's responsible. Oh. Did she look crestfallen and say something melodramatic like beyond the reach of mere mortals? Then curl up on the ground and start wailing. Oh, has <laughs> she done that before? Two of those, actually. Oh, you know it really well, huh? It's better this way. Soka will turn this experience into valuable writing material. She'll be able to portray the protagonist's journey with all the setbacks they face along the way much more compellingly. It will resonate all the more with readers. As okay, for how to that's the villain, good dominating, then. ruthless but brilliant, and ultimately victorious, the inspiration will have to come from you. So don't go getting yourselves knocked out of the competition by some second-rate wannabe. Hmm? <laughs> Our face. Oh no, I'm the villain, but Paimon freeloads off the villain, so she's the bigger villain. <laughs> <laughs> Traveler, Paimon and Missy, I... <laughs> you okay? Layla, take it easy. Don't go fainting on us. I'm all right. So I wrote to the Immortus students, and they were really keen. I got a reply with the information I needed within just a few hours. Oh, that's nice. I've tried making a few different snacks for Twilly Something happening fast with bureaucracy? What is this? But it didn't seem to like any of them. Hmm. Maybe I used some of the wrong ingredients or something. Oh no. So then I made a new, improved list and also included ingredients that might suit Bongo Head's taste. Ah, I didn't go to bed until way past midnight. <sighs> So, I'm a little out of breath today. How'd you get the results so soon? That was super quick! Lack of sleep explains the tiredness, but not the breathlessness. How's it going, my little Layla? Have you been teaching your opponents a lesson? Yep. Thanks for taking us training, Miss Yai. Trilly Whirly is way more obedient now, and it reacts so quickly. I'm actually kind of envious, but the opponents have gotten stronger too, so the pressure is on. I gotta train with Trolly Whirly some more if I want to have a shot at getting into the quarterfinals. The problem is, I'm also planning to visit the Almighty Merchant at 7 in the morning tomorrow to buy all the ingredients I need. Oh, that's no problem. I'll join you with your training session, and we can leave the little ones to buy the ingredients. They're quite the experts in running errands. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong, but she... Huh. she... We sure do. We love helping Guji Yae, because if we didn't... Uh... Uh, right! Yeah. Please don't turn us into scary evil bad guys. <laughs> little Layla. They're just apologizing to me for defeating Soka. Go buy yourself a nice drink, take a break, and catch your breath. Thanks so much. Oh, you guys are the best. Aww. This is the address <laughs> no need to where mention I arranged it. to meet up with the Almighty Merchant. And here's the list of ingredients. Oh, thanks again. Hey, it's our pleasure. You helped us look into Bongo Head's preferences, remember? Glad we can return the favor. As for the potential liabilities we didn't have time to discuss earlier, one good place to start might be the fungi power-up materials. Floral jelly? You know something about it? Why, this is the most exciting subplot of the novel. The secret investigation. I'm sure you must be curious about where the magical powers of the Wisdom Orb and Floral Jelly really come from. Besides, if we fail to uncover what's really going on in this tournament, we simply leave Hania to her own devices. Who knows what chaos might ensue? Uh, hmm. This is suddenly sounding super complicated. Paimon isn't really following. I suggest there's that something in the jelly. Sunrise, while most people are tired and resting. You may find some important leads. Hmm. She 
Did we really take Miko's suggestion? Well, it's literally what we signed up for. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's wait until early tomorrow morning and go check out the fungi power up place. Don't worry, Bongo Head. You're not under suspicion or anything. We just want to make sure everyone stays safe in this competition. After we're done investigating, we can go buy all those ingredients from the almighty merchant Leela mentioned. Then we'll come back and compete in the next round. Okay, what's so suspicious about the jelly? This all Let's looks see. Like regular floral jelly. It's right out in the open for everyone to see, and they've even put the recipe on the table. But even if they added some special ingredients, most contestants wouldn't suspect the thing. It's not like we can just take them away and go investigate them. That'd be stealing, right? We'd probably be disqualified and might even end up getting arrested by the Corps of Dirty. Oh, True. But we do have a camera. How about we take some pictures of the floral jelly and its recipe? At least then we'll have a record of all the important information. Hmm, true. You locate the floral jelly and recipe and take photo evidence. Done! We should ask an expert to analyze these photos, but we're kind of running out of time. Uh, let's go buy Layla's stuff first. Uh, Anya? You hold yourselves to pretty high standards, coming here so early to power up your fungi. No wonder you've made it this far. Anya, yes, that's what we're here for. Last time, it's way too extreme. Save your breath. If you think I'm wrong, start by defeating me. Then you can show me why exactly you think your opinion is correct. Oh, she won't listen to us at all. How did things end up like this? Paimon thought we were getting along pretty well at first. Let's go for a short on time. The only way we can persuade her is to do it her way. Go ahead. There's no time to mope. Determined angry face. Oh. This guy is suspicious of us. And so is this so is this guy, I guess. Or, or something. Or this guy is suspicious of him. Hmm, there is more than meets the eye here. Layla's note said that this is where we should be meeting the Almighty Merchant. The Almighty Merchant. Oh, the looks on your oh well, who else would it be, I guess? Almighty Merchant, yes? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, how did you know? Wait, Dory? So you're the Almighty Merchant Layla mentioned? Oh, I'm so surprised. Every vendor and customer in the Grand Bazaar knows that Lord Sangama Bay possesses the widest and most magical range of goods. Almighty, supreme, omnipotent, these and many more are my exclusive epithets. Any other merchant thinking of using one can forget it. Unless they're prepared to pay millions of mora in licensing fees. <laughs> <laughs> Guess Paimon should have known. Yeah. Hey, yeah, whatever. But back to business. I'm surprised that Layla sent you here on her behalf. I suppose she must be busy enjoying the Beast Tamer tournament, hmm? Sounds like you two get along pretty well. You know a lot about what's going on. <laughs> it has nothing to do with getting along. Layla previously bought a few things from me. They weren't the most valuable goods, but it was still a lot of mora for a student. So naturally, I now keep tabs on her activity, which is why I know that she's taking part in a very suspicious tournament. Uh, so you know something about what's going on? Do you have any intel? Mm -hmm. Something just didn't feel right. As it happens, I do have some goods I'm trying to get off my hands. They're a little hot for my liking, but so far no takers. 
They're also taking up space. So, I think I'll just give them to you. Just give them, you say? Um, this is just a bunch of spare parts and random notes. I'm told this is a device and some documents that the organizer attempted to destroy. Oh! They were careless. Some people will scavenge through anything hoping for a chance to get rich. Sure enough, someone fished these out of the water and sent them to me. Someone fished them out of the water. Hmm, maybe it's that one guy <laughs> who cannot catch fish. Work. This looks similar to the recipe for floral jelly. And these parts look like they came from a wisdom orb. Hmm. Maybe they were used during the experiment phase. Let's hold on to them for now and have Miku take a look later. Maybe she'll notice if there's anything fishy about them. I think we can safely assume that uh, there's something suspicious about uh, Cotillia. Yeah, seems like our worries were well placed after all. But Paimon still wants to hang out with Bongo Head. I don't know what you two are talking about, but it sounds like these items might prove useful to you. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount. A 60 million mora. Thank you for your business. Ah! Uh. Why, you sneaky little... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no one gives a hoot about these items except for you and the Matra. We have other business to do today. Uh, consider this a little extra I'm throwing in to sweeten the deal. Show me Layla's list. I just need to know what she wants. Once I finish stocking up the goods, I'll send someone to deliver them to her so that you don't have to. Oh, that's nice. Paimon thought all our efforts were gonna go down the drain. We couldn't afford that price even if we won the top prize. Here's Layla's old order list. Flower order list. Matsutake powder. A vintage jam. Zaytun peach juice. Is this really the fungi diet? How did Layla even find that out? Paimon still feels kind of uneasy about all this. But we don't have much time. Let's continue with the competition. If Caltilia really is plotting something, we'll expose him in front of everyone during the ultimate trial. Who's against us next? Baron Bigfoot. Okay. Okay. I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. Years of rigorous training, you say? Now, Prepare to witness the power of my all cryo fungi team. All cryo. Well, as it happens, I got mostly pyro, so that should be a breeze. Okay, I should probably target the healer first. That was easy. Impossible. My team has been defeated. That was a hard won battle. You and your buddies put up a good fight, Bongo Head. Okay, I think from now on, just gonna use the animal one for sure. The gathering them is so nice. Okay, the plot thickens. Traveler Paimon, I saw you guys made it to the next round. Congrats. Hey, Layla, you're looking well today. And Twirly Whirly looks really happy. Guess you won your last round too. It was a close call. I only won by a hair. Oh, I'm so glad I trained with Miss Yai beforehand. Also, the almighty merchant just sent someone to deliver the stuff I ordered. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go catch up on some rest with Twirly Whirly now. Hmm... My stamina's running low. Let's keep the volume down. Speaking of Miss Yai, where did Miku go? Mm, she left in a hurry with Soap. Oh, what's up? I guess they must have had something urgent to do. Also, I think they were escorted by a mercenary from the Corps of 30. Hmm. When I returned to the arena, they were already quite a distance away. It didn't feel right to run after them and ask what they were up to. Maybe she has work to do. It gets busy at the eye publishing house after Happy. all. Miku has been putting a lot of time in 
to the tournament lately, so Paimon wouldn't be surprised if she had a lot of chief editor work to catch up on. Yeah. She also said that she wanted to look for inspiration while enjoying her vacation. The mercenary was probably just their tour guide. We shouldn't worry about it. Or maybe, yeah, we could just did something the illegal are coming up. and to was me, this being is escorted the most away round. to jail or something. I'm a little nervous, but let's all do our best. Yeah! <sighs> We've all done really well to come this far in the tournament. Keep it up, Leila! We mustn't let our guards down either. We need to strike a balance between competing and investigating. Right. We have to stay vigilant. Okay, let's take some photos of the items we got from Dory to add to the ones we took this morning. We'll show them all to Miko when we see her next. Yeah. Act 3 complete. Ooh. Okay, where are we at? We won here, we won here. Next, we're against Hardy Two Blades. Unfathomable defenses. Act four. Ooh. It's time for the quarterfinals. Our opponent is definitely gonna be a tough one this time. It's showtime, Bongo Head. Let's smash our way through to the semifinals. Let's go. Ugh, it's you. The uncultured swine of the Nilut Pala Cup. Uncultured swine? What the heck is your problem? What's your problem? Yeah. The way you dote on your fungi. It's pathetic. What a joke. You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all. The mighty Hania. Greatest beast tamer of all? <laughs> That's debatable. We'll set her philosophy straight. You keep telling yourself that. You were never gonna come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. Yeah, yeah, sure. Big talk. Ah, easy. No! This can't be happening. I trained my fungi non-stop. Maybe I should have been harder on them. <sighs> well, we beat him, but... Somehow, Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate. Hmm. Well, it was still pretty easy. Let's see what's uh, happening outside. Traveler, Paimon, I made it through. Yay! That's amazing, Leila! You reached your goal! Congratulations! I heard you won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but... You don't seem too happy about it. How come? It's just that... Oh, he was really mean. He said some weird things. You tell Layla the details of the match. I see what you mean. Yeah, somehow beast teamers like him make me feel a little... Uh, sad. Sad? Yeah, he clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like based on a vague impression and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it too if she knew. Aww. Also, he's so cruel to his shroom buddies when they could have been friends. Hmm. It's not just his loss either. It brings all the other contestants down. Aww. You have the right mindset, Layla. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. But Indeed. It's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. That's all. Oh, looks like the next fight is you against me. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't matter who wins. This is just a little contest between friends. You have a deal. All right. Time to see who's the strongest fungi, Twirly Whirly or Bongo Head. Loser buys dinner for the winner. Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Miko, you're back! Finally! You stepped off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... Um... Um... <laughs> Evidently, we have some things to discuss with you. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. 
I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. Oh, man. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. Oh, you're ag yeah, against her. Get to this point, Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. Look on the bright side. Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania. But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves. Eh, whatever. Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling nervous, but excited at the same time. You don't have to go easy on me. Twirly Whirly and team have weathered plenty of tough challenges already, and they know how to put up a good fight. So you and your shrimp buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly! Let's go! Let's see, she has a healer too, I think. Oh, that was fast. Oh, shoot. We lost. Ah, oh, it's okay. But you and the gang put on the best show I've seen so far, Twirly Whirly. <laughs> that was a real blast. I loved it. Aww. Thank you all. Twirly Whirly and I went out with a bang. Any other opponent, and we might be feeling a little disappointed right now. But we were definitely. Ah, oh, look at them just. The Enjoying each other. You did really well too, you know. Felt like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo. Just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win. It was a good feeling. Perhaps this is how all competition should be. If yeah. Only every match could be as carefree as that. Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, I'm so nervous for her. Let's go see how she's doing. I have a feeling Miko has uh, lost and we're, we're gonna have to kick some sense into Hanaya. Huh? Intense. Your match is over too? You took your time. I'm assuming it was a close call. You sound way too relaxed for someone who just fought in the semifinals. Bet it was a walk in the park, huh? <laughs> yes. Ours was as far from a close call as you could get. All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I... To lose. ...to be beaten by Hania. Yeah, I figured. Huh? What? You think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? <laughs> said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination then? I look forward to finding out. That's not your concern. Damn, she's pissed. Running away so soon? Miss Yai lost the match, but why is Hania the one who seemed upset? The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro one soon after the match started, and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. Deceiving herself? You mean, Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be? So she does care about Pyro One, but she didn't mean to show it in front of you. Hmm. Right answer. Now's our chance to get through to her. You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. But Hania's long gone now! Where should we look for her? Well, right In now, the final I'm sure she match. must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. 
The answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. Wait, you mean? The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? Good point. It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed. Layla, it seems like you're onto something. Let's catch up with Hania and set things straight. I guess Hania is missing here, friends. I understand and that you she want to help Hania, just wants but she's not the kind of person you're good at someone dealing with. that resembles a friend. Time. That's true. And if I said something that struck a nerve again, I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. Uh, if I tag along, I'd probably need to stop and gather my strength every ten minutes. Aww. Well, what are you waiting for, little one? This is everything we've dug up so far. Please take a look and see what you think. Oh, my, you've been busier than I thought. In return, I give you a blessing from me. Good luck. I'll share my thoughts the next time we meet. She gave us an actual blessing. Hania should be around here somewhere. Hyrule One follows her everywhere. We should be able to track her down through its elemental traces. Search the area with elemental sight. <laughs> How did you find me here? Elemental size. Pyro One's tracks. We're a little worried about you. Wait a second. Are you comforting Pyro One? The irony, I know. And I'd probably be enjoying it if Pyro One were any other animal than a fungi. The next time we meet, we'll be in the finals. Whatever you have to say, save it for if you beat me. We want to understand where you're coming from, and we want to help you see the fungi differently. The fox lady said you might say that. You're pure of heart, kind, and believe the best in things. You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. So, here, read this. Oh, what's uh, it? What's what this? It? These are my ancestors' records. They were attacked oh, by her ancestors. fungi in the rainforest. Many people were seriously injured. There was nothing exceptional about this incident at the time, and it certainly never made it into any official records. But my family have been reading it to me since I was a child, constantly warning me of the grave threat that fungi pose to us. So, that's what happened. Oh, no wonder you're so hostile towards fungi. We're sorry about your past, but things are different yeah. now. And anyway, doesn't your family's experience make this tournament all the more meaningful? The Wisdom Orb finally means that humans and fungi can live in peace together. It's not as simple as turning bad fungi into nice fungi with the Wisdom Orb. Plenty of scholars have experimented with similar things in my village in the past. But every mm -hmm. one of them failed, gave up, and moved on. Even this new Wisdom Orb can only suppress the fungi's aggressive nature temporarily. Without this device, they're still extremely dangerous creatures. On top of that, the Orb's intellectual boost makes the fungi unnaturally strong. Too much elemental energy in one place is not a good idea. Especially for people in poor shape already. If you've got a sensitive constitution and you start using a wisdom orb, you're gonna start experiencing symptoms pretty quickly. Oh no, like Layla? Unnaturally strong? Wait, Layla's been coughing a lot lately. Could that be because of the wisdom orb? As you'll be well aware by now, all Caltilia cares about is his precious research. He just wants to expand his influence and increase the profile of the Beast Tamer event. Meanwhile, Al Hingen's taking advantage of the situation. Impressed by Cautilia's research, he invested a huge sum into promoting the tournament, consequently lowering everyone's guard against the fungi. I don't trust either of them, period. I don't believe highly aggressive creatures like the fungi can coexist with humans. But I'm just another retired mercenary, so who's gonna listen to me? All I can do is play by their rules until victory is mine. Then I'll fight for the outcome I'm hoping for, and keep them from getting their way. Hmm. I initially had a sliver of hope that you might help me in my endeavors. Guess that was pretty naive of me. But it doesn't matter what you think about all this, or what you think of me. I'm going to beat you, and then there will be nothing you can do to stop me. 
I need a... This notebook is just a relic from my past now. Do whatever you want with it. Because come the day of the final, I'm going to declare the execution of all fungi. Including Pyro One. It's time to say goodbye to the past. Hmm, That's I'm kind of on the fence here. Well, there's only one option left. We gotta defeat Hania in the final match! At least we got to know how she really feels. At least we got her notebook. Didn't Hania mention something about other researchers in the past trying to stop the damage caused by fungi too? There should be more information in this notebook. Let's take a look. Let's see. Huh. These look like research notes. Guess Hania's ancestors kept them after the scholars left. Whew. This section looks super complicated. The handwriting is really bad, and there are too many technical terms. Paimon can't make heads or tails of this. Wait, some of these look familiar, though. Oh, that's right. We saw them on the documents Dory gave us. So the notes and the documents are connected. Let's try putting everything together. All right, let's put them side by side. Go through carefully and try to figure out what's written in these notes. A capturing device and a withering potion. The device used to capture fungi made them calm and approachable, but the withering potion made them go berserk. So that's how it went down. The fungi only attacked Hania's ancestors because of what that potion did to them. And then the researchers built that device to try and capture the angry fungi. Also, if Floral Jelly is just an improved version of the Withering Potion, and the Wisdom Orb isn't Cautilia's invention either, he's basically giving someone else's invention a new name and passing them off as his own! He's a big fat liar! Big fat liar indeed! Why is Cautilia so eager to get people to use the Wisdom Orb anyway? Probably money. Maybe he wants to finish the work started by scholars that went before him, but more likely he just wants to take credit. For other people's work. Gotta warn El Hingen. He needs to stop bankrolling Caltilia right away. As for Hania, she has no idea that the fungi only attacked her ancestors because they were under the potion's influence. No wonder she holds it against them. Oh, what is it? Oh, don't worry, Bongo Head. You're not gonna turn evil because of some floral jelly. You stayed a very good fungus even after we turned off the wisdom orb. Whoa! You can understand what Paimon's saying? Oh wow, you're getting smarter! Paimon, wait, the wisdom orb isn't active. Huh? Since when? Oh, Paimon didn't even notice. Whoa! <gasps> It's had a good experience with us so far. We've gained a mutual understanding. See, see, Hania was wrong after all. The fungi aren't gonna lose control this time. Some fungi understand people and just want to get along, like Bongo Head here. Oh, Hania did make one good point though. The wisdom orb has its limits. As long as that's the case, fungi won't be able to live with humans forever. I was really hoping Bongo Head could join us for the rest of our journey. Isn't there a way? Let's keep a safe distance from them uh, from them now. Let's look a way to improve the wisdom all. Yeah. It's a shame, but it seems like there's no other choice. Hmm. We still have some time before the final. Should we report Cautilia to the academia? We don't know what he's capable of. We also don't want to let him know we're onto True. him. True. For him to have made it this far, he must have been planning for a long time. If he caught wind of our plans to expose him, he'd definitely be wary of us. Whatever else happens, we have to give it our all on the day of the final. Let's beat Hania and knock some sense into her. Then we should get Ohinga to help us expose Cautilia for the fraud he is. Yeah. Act 4 complete. The strongest opponent, the biggest crisis. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, 
After some fierce competition in the round so far, we arrive at long last at the final of the Nilut Pala Cup. It's time to find out who is the very best beast tamer of all. Honea or the Traveler? If the winner of the final round makes it through the ultimate trial, they will acquire my entire fortune. It will then be their responsibility to continue hosting this tournament into the future and to promote the philosophy of peaceful coexistence throughout all of Tivat. By the way, if uh, we get the fortune, uh, then uh, uh, can't we just like say, nah, we're, we're not interested in this, but still keep it? Hey! You bring me girl Layla up to speed up to this conversation. Much as I expected. The insufferable research maniac has exposed his true colors to our two protagonists. You seem to be edging ever closer to the truth. And of course she knows everything Holding already. Off on reporting Kautilia to the academia seems like a sensibly cautious decision at this stage. Who's to say if Kautilia, or indeed anyone else for that matter, is really who they appear to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can't afford to let our guards down now. We gotta fight Hania first, the strongest beast tamer out there. And we still have no idea what we're in for with El Hingen's ultimate trial. Oh, how are we gonna get through to Hania, though? The answer should be quite obvious by now, surely. Take all of our fungi and defeat her fair and square. Force her to let go of her stubborn attitude and listen to the truth. I believe in you guys. I know you'll be able to get her to come around. Thanks for all your support. Oh, yeah! Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, and Pixara! The tightest power trio in all of Shroomdom! With your powers combined, winning this final will be easier than taking a radish from a hilly churro! Hell yeah! Okay, time to kick your butt. The day has finally arrived, Traveler and Paimon. I warned you not to get emotionally attached to the fungi. You have to treat them as your pawns. But it seems like you haven't changed one bit. In which case, this match will be a short one. You're the one that, that needs to change. Yeah! When we send Bongo Head and Bunnies into action, it's like clockwork, and we ain't about to stop ticking! <sighs> Hey. Time to show you how a real beast tamer fights. Your feeble strategy will be your undoing. Go, Pyro One! Ha! Ah, there we go. Pyro One, why did you hold back? You're the one giving the orders. Pyro One has become more than just a pawn to you. when Pyro 1 got injured during the semi-finals, didn't you? You never met a well-matched opponent until you fought Miko and now us had you. So you never had to put Pyro 1 or any of your other fungi in danger before. When you saw one of your fungi get injured for the first time, you realized you felt compassion for it. Compassion? You really think I feel anything for these fungi? Yes, it's painfully obvious. Yeah, you grew up listening to terrible tales about the horrors of fungi. Paimon completely understands how they made you feel. But that doesn't mean that you should just treat a buddy who stands by you here as your arch enemy. You won't be able to lie to yourself forever. We fight off fierce fungi all the time, and we always used to think of them as monsters too. The whole reason we entered this tournament is because we didn't want fungi causing any trouble. But after meeting Bongo Head, we realized that if you just give them some time and treat them well, the gentler fungi will get to know you and treat you like their friends. At the very least, treat fungi like they're on your side, not as your pawns and certainly not as your enemies. Please, learn to trust Pyro One and your other fungi friends. Say no to prejudice. Yeah. Enough! Don't patronize me. In case you've forgotten, this match isn't over yet. 
Oh. Oh, we're going again. There we go. I failed. Just before the most important step of all, I failed. You two, you were the only ones who could stop me. But how, when your mindset is so childish? We'll show you how. Then you'll finally understand. Yeah, as we agreed, you have to hear us out now that we've won. But let's put that aside for now. Can we bring Pyro 1 along for the ultimate trial? Pyro 1? You want to take it with you? Yep. We want to pass the ultimate trial with everyone's fungi side by side. Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, and Pyro 1. We'll earn their right to all these fungi. We'll make sure they're all prob properly er, you looked after. You your notebook that day after we spoke to you and it cleared up a lot of things. You're right to be concerned about the dangers of fungi, up to a point. Wisdom orbs come with health risks to some people. This tournament shouldn't have been promoted so widely, and there are limits to how closely fungi and humans can coexist in general. However, by making constant improvements to the wisdom orb and using it for friendly communication with the fungi, we can figure out which are the nice ones and gradually learn more about them. Fine, if that's what you want. I lost, so I don't get to call the shots. And I guess Pyro 1 would rather be with someone who actually cares about it. Cheer up, Hania. I'm sure you mean a lot to Pyro 1. Uh, we have more important stuff we gotta tell you after the ultimate trial. Regarding your ancestors and the truth, truth behind the fungi That's attack. That's right. You'll see things differently after you know the story. Paimon just knows it. I just had to say, what a magnificent duel. A battle between competing philosophies as well as a showdown between two top beast tamers. Alhingen? What are you doing in the arena? Why, I'm here to witness the final duel and the winner's spectacular performance in the ultimate trial. How could I possibly miss such a milestone moment in this tournament's history? Come now, Traveler, Paimon, it's time to prove yourselves. I have no doubt that you'll play a significant role in bringing this tournament to a whole new level. Whole new level? You follow him to the location of the ultimate trial. What? Against the Fatui? Oh, of course he's with them. Wait a second. Where is the exit? The arena hasn't been taken over by the bad guys. This was all part of his plan. The traveler is correct. Nothing gets past you, does it? In which case, I presume you planned for this eventuality, no? Wait, this is all wrong. Isn't this the ultimate trial? Kaltui is supposed to be the villain. He was just using the tournament for his own agenda and he tricked you into sponsoring him. Hmm, not far off. You're right about Kautilia's motivations. This started when he discovered a promising use for a forgotten technology. So I bought hmm. his loyalty and organized this tournament to expand the reach of his technology. Though I must say... I never expected a prize catch like yourself to take the bait so eagerly. Not as eagerly as you're confessing to your crimes. You can continue your confession in jail. So yeah. You weren't being fooled by Cautilia. It was you using him. This whole time you were just another lousy Fatui. Oh, now Paimon's mad. So much for warning you about Cautilia. Bagelhead, get him! Oh. Look at you. <laughs> I've got chills down my spine. But I'm afraid that's not happening. Twirly Whirly, Lazara, Pyro One, what's going on? Oh no, he's using our fungi against us. Cautilia added a handy little back door in the wisdom orbs. As soon as I send the command, all fungi under their control report to me instead. A back door? So, this whole tournament, it was just an elaborate ploy to get other people to capture fungi for you. And now you're going to make them all into your evil minions. Very impressive. 
You hit all the key notes there. I hold the tournament a few times, build up an army of fungi living amongst the people, and then I can create all kinds of damage. You have to understand, this is a huge opportunity for me. My accomplishments will eclipse those of my other comrades. And then, my dear Master Dottore, who left because of you, will finally realize that I can still be worth something to him. Dottore, you've worked for the Dottore before. But now, I think I might go one step further. Getting rid of you would be doing a major service for all the Fatui. From the foot soldiers to the harbingers. <laughs> this could be a career making moment for me. I'll finally earn Master Dottore's respect. Uh, I mean, tragic accident. Do we fight so the, much trust these guys the every day, all day. It's, it's not like we can, we can just. We can't just. With you Kick their still ass. inside. Once this domain sealed off, no one will ever find you. Well, I mean, well, that's an issue. I'll have Cautilia assume all liability and criminal charges, then inform the academia. After that, I'll invest even more into this tournament in the name of honoring your memory. I'll promote it harder. The competitions will be bigger and more frequent. It's every man or shroom for themselves. I have faith in Bungo Head. Take your time. Pit fungi against fungi and warriors against warriors. I want the traveler to see her buddy being destroyed. Then, once her faith is utterly shattered, put her out of her misery. Quickly and painlessly. I accept that our actions thus far have not been uh, beyond reproach. But at least we can give the Traveler the ceremonious final farewell that they deserve. Damn. Yeah, as if. There are too many of them. This isn't right. I've activated the backdoor command three times now on the floating hydrofungus. Why is it still obeying the traveler? Is Caltilia's device malfunctioning? Oh dear, the poor thing still hasn't realized. The technology in the Wisdom Orb does make fungi more obedient to their beast tamers, but all it does to achieve this is suppress some of their basic instincts, allowing them to communicate with their owner as effectively as any other animal. The trust that these four fungi place in their beast tamers, and the bond they now share, have grown stronger than the Wisdom Orb. Guy, Miko! You, you broke the domain! <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's, that's like, uh, <laughs> it's so easy for her, probably. Please, you thought your crude replicas could keep me out? You appear to have woefully underestimated who you're dealing with. Not to mention that shoddily designed backdoor command. Did you honestly believe that no one would notice the litany of vulnerabilities in your grand plan? Curses! Miko! Leila! <laughs> too! Oh, hang in. So this was all you're doing? Whatever threat the fungi might pose, your nefarious ambitions are the true menace here. Come on, Miss Yai. Uh, let's go help them. Easy now, Layla. All that's left for us to do now is to watch and wait. The bond of companionship is not something so easily severed by the designs or devices of humans. Yeah. But Zara, you haven't completed your mission yet. You're not thinking of giving up now, are you? Hell yeah, go. Huh? Go get them. Is this the moment Miss Yai said we were waiting for? 
Twirly Whirly, I believe in you. Take this crook down. <laughs> The back door command is wearing off. They're all returning to normal. Still doubting what your heart tells you, Hania? You're afraid. Afraid to accept that the fungus you treated as a pawn now trusts you completely. Because then you'll be forced to face your true feelings, which you have been trying so desperately to escape from. But don't keep your fungus waiting much longer. Look, now that it's no longer under the Wisdom Orb's control, it's waiting for your orders. Pyro One, are you really waiting for me? I'm sorry. Aww. I've been so harsh on you, but you still trust me. Go, do what you have to do. Hell yeah, now it's powered up too. Well, one way or another, it looks like all the fungi have returned to their senses. Great! Shame on you, Elhingen. You're about to pay for what you've done. Hold the line! And keep your heads. They're just a handful of fungi. We still have the upper hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Aha! Beaten by a few measly fungi? <laughs> this is absurd. Where do you think you're going? I'm just a tourist. As far as I'm aware, I don't have the authority to detain anybody within Sumeru's borders. Is that not the case for you, too? Still, you needn't worry. He won't escape. You'll see once you get back to the tournament arena. Oh, I think she has to, has uh, told to the Mutra and they're waiting for him. Cryptic. Well, no time to figure that one out. On with the chase! You finally made your move. By order of the General Mahamatra, we're here to arrest Elhingen for grave crimes and Kautilia for academic misconduct. The General Mahamatra has been watching Kautilia closely for some time. He's busy dealing with other affairs today, so he couldn't find the time to apprehend the offenders himself. Thankfully, with all the evidence you gathered, we were able to swiftly bring this case to a conclusion. <sighs> the General Mahamatra wrote a letter for the two of you. Please, take a look. So Sino has been keeping an eye on this competition too. He and his people must have been secretly investigating at the same time we were. Lucky we had some backup. The timing worked out perfectly. We'll leave the rest All to right. you. Alright, we'll take the suspects away now. The area will be unattended while we're gone. But with you here, I can put my mind at ease. I think this is over, but mark my words, you haven't seen the last of me. Oh, Master Dottore! Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dottore for oh, sure, but uh, you. Have fun in prison, you fatui lowlife! Wait, Sino mentioned that he used our evidence, so is that where Miko was going after the last 16? To hand it in and make a report? Oh, please, spare me that look. I didn't sign up for any of this. I'm supposed to be having a nice vacation, but all sorts of vexing issues keep managing to find their way to me. After the round of 16, I simply took a walk around Sumeru City with my editors. I did have a very brief conversation with the General Mahamatra, but only because he happened to be passing by at the time. The evidence you gathered was the key to solving this case. Try playing it down, the more confusing it all gets. <laughs> um, anyway, now that the organizer and the sponsor have both been arrested, what should we do about the fungi in this tournament? The rules still stand. These little ones won the tournament and passed the ultimate trial, which means they'll be taking Elhingen and Kautilia's place. From now on, everything about this tournament will be up to these two to decide. And after all the experience they've gained, I'm sure they are more than up to the task. 
First things first, we need to tell uh, Hania the truth. Lady Kitsune told me everything. The fungi that attacked my ancestors were out of control because they'd gone berserk. Everything I thought I knew about the fungi was based on a misunderstanding. I took it all much too far. Huh? We didn't get to say anything! Miko, why did you have to steal our thunder? <laughs> <laughs> if by that you mean, thank you, Miko, then you're welcome. Hania needed a little pep talk to perk her up so that she would join us in taking a stand against El Hingen. How else was I supposed to motivate her? You don't have to say anymore. I was too close-minded. I know that now. I kept telling myself the same things, lying to myself until I became numb. But now I've seen the truth with my own eyes. Even without the Wisdom Orb, Pyro One willingly followed my instruction. It trusted me all along. Yeah. I my hands up. I was wrong. You're well within your rights to criticize me. And I accept whatever punishment you deem appropriate. Oh, I wish it be punish you. What? What do you take us for? Sure, you said some pretty scary things. And you were way too strict with Pyro One. But clearly, you've already learned your lesson. Wait. Actually, having said that, Paimon has an idea. Me too. Oh, what is it? You take all the fun guy for yourself. Everyone discusses the final decision together. All right, Paimon's got it. Let's go tell everyone else what we came up with. The victory speech is yours to make, Paimon. Ahem. Oh, this is Paimon's first time speaking to so many people from a stage like this. Paimon's oh, getting butterflies. Paimon and the Traveler are super happy that we were lucky enough to win this tournament and even expose a criminal conspiracy while we were at it. The responsibility for continuing to hold this tournament in the future now lies in our hands. Now, they may have thrown the organizer and the sponsor in jail, but you can all breathe a huge sigh of relief because the prizes are still being issued as promised. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Whoop woo! Whoop woo! <laughs> That's a good call. However, unfortunately, the wisdom orbs currently have a harmful effect on their surrounding environment. So they pose a risk to people's health. This means that we won't be able to keep our fungi friends around for the long term. So, for the sake of everyone's well-being, over the coming days, we recommend that everyone entrust their fungi into the care of the best darn beast tamer in town, Hania! But you won't be away from them for too long. While Hania takes care of your fungi, we'll be talking to the Academia with the goal of trying to resolve the current issues with the Wisdom Orb as soon as possible. And of course, this tournament was so much fun. It'd be a real shame if it was a one-off affair. I'm unsure you've got a big appetite for more fungi fun and games! So once the technical issues are all sorted out, and we're all reunited with our fungi friends, let's battle it out all over again! Yeah, that sounds nice. So that's my punishment. <laughs> think of it more as a reward for being the runner-up. Don't think of it that way, Miss Hania. Spending time with shroom buddies is actually really fun. Uh, right, Twirly Whirly? Yeah. I'm gonna miss you, Twirly Whirly. Take good care of my best shroom buddy. Huh. Traveler, Paimon, <laughs> Layla, and Lady Kitsune. What can I say? You're a fascinating bunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Come on, Ania. We announced the official decision with everyone watching. You better look alive. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I get it. As a beast tamer, I accept your proposal. I will do my utmost to care for these fungi and treat them like the treasured companions that they are to their masters. Aww. <laughs> now those sound like the words of an awesome person called Hania that Paimon wants to be friends with. Just wish she'd shown us this Hania sooner. Anyway, let's spend some final quality time with our shroom buddies. Then we'll all meet up in Port Ormos. That was a nice ending for the thing. Oh, there's still something, le uh, something left. So I saw something about a 
some extra stuff around these parts. Pay your dues. Oh. Also, there is a wisdom orb there. Right here. Right now. Remover of potential liabilities. <laughs> Oh, mysterious fatui letter and a special wisdom orb. Looks quite familiar. Uh, scratches things. You can uh, even find the following words backdoor command application sample and confirm to have no value may be discarded. As well as some blood. It seems that not only did someone snatch this, but that they uh, might have met uh, with some misfortune afterwards okay so basically since he went against uh, Fatui's uh, orders or like did stuff without orders they the Fatui took him out okay well I ripped that guy Farewell, my shroom buddies. Oh no, we're gonna say goodbye. Traveler, Bongo Head, it's time for us to meet up with everyone in Port Armos. Let's go see Layla first, then Miko, and finally, go give our fungi over to Hania. Well, yeah, well, yeah, we're gonna say goodbye to them because we're giving them away. For now. Blop, 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 blop. <laughs> we could go camping really far away, and I got to see the stars from a different perspective. Oh, Aw, that's nice. To make some progress with my paper. That's great. Uh, although, I've tried making almost everything on my food list now. Every time I used to flower or something, it got in the air and gave me a coughing fit. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess she isn't that good at cooking. Oh, she's you're getting back on the boat. Expected. Miko, you're not leaving, are you? It feels like you never got to properly enjoy your vacation here. Oh, my needs for amusement have been more than met. Thanks to your help, our little inspiration hunt went perfectly. Not only did we gain invaluable experience in the tournament, we also had all the excitement of exposing a criminal conspiracy. Yes, I that think is I true. might ask Soka to ditch her original characters and just make you the protagonists in her next novel. You are helping behind the scenes. Uh, you you knew there was something up with them. True. It all makes sense now. You dropped so many hints, but it went over Paimon's head at the time. Why didn't you expose our minion right away, though? Why wait for things to escalate like they did? Going for the big reveal right at the beginning would have been an anti-climax of the most literal kind. I wanted to yeah. see you react in a situation like this, and you did not disappoint. I thought that the story between you and the fungi would follow a master-servant paradigm, but you offered something even better. Companionship, based on mutual understanding. From a certain point of view, it seems fitting that Elhingen, the one person who could barely keep the word master from his lips, met his downfall at your hand. 
Of course, considering what he's capable of, I'm sure he'll have his ways of continuing to put up a fight. Mm. Yeah, I don't I'm think so. Confused again. In the future, we should take notes when Miko's talking and carefully look over them later. <laughs> That's enough chatting for now. I'll leave Blitzara in your hands. Remember to take good care of it. I hope you really give this a good shot, you and Hania. The future of this highly entertaining tournament depends on the decisions you make from now on. I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us. So I guess if we have this event a second time uh, in the future, it's gonna like kind of continue uh, with us being the uh, leaders of that. That would be neat. Hello all, right on time. I've collected all the other contestants' wisdom orbs and found a suitable place for our fungi friends to live. I'll make absolutely sure the surrounding environment is not affected. Say hello to everyone, Kindlejoy. Kindlejoy? That's Pyro One's new name. Ah. I saw how well behaved it was when we first met. A sense of joy welled up inside me. If I just let go of my preconceived notions about fungi and allowed myself to truly feel that moment, maybe I could have felt like that all this time. I'm so glad Hania has finally worked things out. <laughs> yeah! Even though Paimon has gotten used to the name Pyro One at this point, the new name holds so much more significance! Congratulations, uh, Hania. Congratulations to you too, Kindlejoy. I will commit to giving these gentle creatures the highest standard of care I can provide. Please, rest assured that your fungi friends will be safe with me. I guess it's... time for us to say goodbye. Go on, Twirly Whirly. Be a good fungus now, and do everything that Hania says. Aww. Miku will be back to visit when the next Beast Tamers tournament comes around. High five, Bongo Head! It was really fun having you around. Paimon hopes that you have a good time at Hania's, and is really looking forward to seeing you again next time. We'll meet again. That's a I promise. I hope that the day when humans and fungi can live in harmony will come quickly. I believe in you all. You'll make it happen. I look forward to the good news. Ah. There they go. Okay, now it's an end. Now let's see if we can find the people, find the characters to talk to. Hmm, what's on the here? We'd like to thank all the competitors for their extravagant performances, the support of all our, and the support of all of our audience. The first season of Nilotvala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament has come to an end. Continue reading. Although there were a few hiccups at the end of the finals, uh, they were all resolved by the champions Golden Comet and Silver Companion. Due to technical difficulties, we are unsure as to when the next season of the Nilotpala uh, Cup Beast Tamers Tournament will be hosted. However, we promise that uh, we will resolve the issues as quickly as possible and bring back the competition uh, that you all enjoy. Meanwhile, please continue to show us your support. Uh, most liked comment. Although I really hoped that uh, the Nilotpala, Nilotpala uh, Cup would continue to be held, after finding out about the flaws of the Western Orb, I fully stand behind Silver Companion's decision. Health and safety is definitely the top priority. Uh, I, I hope that all the competitors are safe and uh, continue to maintain their friendship with their fungi companions. That way uh, they'll be able to return to the arena and bring us even more exciting competi competitions. There are a number of comments stating people's understanding of Paimon's decision, a concern for the condition of the competitors and their hopes of the competition being continued in the future. Most disliked comment. Everyone seems to be happy with the fierce match and Paimon's victory speech. There are no negative comments. Really? Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I looked around and 
I didn't see any characters around and uh, I looked online as well and I'm not sure there are any. So yeah, that ends this uh, this event quest. I really liked it. It was wholesome with a twist at the end and a pretty decent build up to the twist as well. And it set itself up for some for a, f uh, f a future where we have a second part of the uh, event. Also, what is this doing here? Uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.